warm, fluffy dinner rolls. Who is not a lover of this stuff? The price at the store recently though, nobody likes. I'm going to make mine and I'm going to show you how. Welcome to Big Bite Mom. I am Peace. Today we are going to tackle the fluffy dinner rolls. I've never made these rolls before. I'm kind of intimidated by them, but I'm going to take on the challenge and if it comes out good, perfect. If it doesn't, I'll learn from it and I'm going to share it all with you. Let's go. For the dinner rolls, we have to make a flour paste. And we're going to start that with a half a cup of water and we have some bread flour. We need about three tablespoons of our bread flour into a small bowl. One and two and three to this half a cup of water. Whisk together until no lumps are found. I did not fire up my oven yet because the dough has to rest a few times during the making of this Adina Rose. Your oven will be preheated and ready to go and you would not even be close yet. So just start first. Okay, this is all whisked together. I don't see any lumps present. To get this into a paste that we're looking for, we're going to have to microwave it. We're just looking for this to get thick and kind of like a pudding consistency. We've microwaved it for about 20 seconds and it has, it's beginning to thicken. So we're going to mix it up and then get it back into the microwave. So I gave it another 10 seconds. I think I have arrived at the consistency I'm looking for. This is kind of clumped together and more like a pudding consistency. And I think this is what we're looking for. I'm going to put this aside and get my stain mixer out. I have our mixer set up now. To our mixer, I'm going to add in half a cup of cold milk. We're also going to add in the paste that we just made. I have my whisk attachment on and we are going to whisk these two ingredients together until they are well incorporated. Start slow. We have mixed this mixture up and it's well mixed and smooth. I have my egg. I'm going to add it to this mixture. Whisk again until the egg becomes part of the mixture. Now we're going to add flour and yeast to this mixture. We want two cups of flour, but this dough can be very finicky. If you don't get the exact amount of flour in this dough, it's going to make the dough flattened when you start messing with it to roll it up before putting it in the oven. So those two cups of flour translate into 11 ounces of flour. I'm going to encourage you to weigh your flour. I have my scale right here. I'm just going to weigh the flour to make sure we get the exact amount of flour that we're looking for. 11 ounces exactly. Yeah. I have one teaspoon. and half a teaspoon. Get our flour. Don't get flour bombed. Start slowly. I made a little bit of a mistake there, but I caught myself and hopefully it doesn't, you know, affect me later. But once you put in your flour and your yeast, you change your mixer to the hook for the dough. So now we get our dough going. Our flour is all mixed up. At this point, we're going to give it about 15 minutes to just sit right in here with the hook in it and all and rest for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes of our dough resting. I need two tablespoons of sugar.
in a teaspoon of salt. Get that back to mixing. And we're just gonna mix it on low to medium speed. Allow the dough to mix for five full minutes. And that's five minutes. We are going to have to get this dough back into the bowl. Now we're going to add four tablespoons of butter to this dough. And your butter should be softened. And drop it in one tablespoon at a time as it's mixing. About a tablespoon. You're gonna have to scrape the bowl and all of that, get the butter to incorporate better. Once you add your last tablespoon of butter, you continue mixing this for five minutes. And you're gonna have to stop and scrape it down, which I need to do right now. Perfect. Flour your surface, just very lightly and transfer the dough over. You really don't want extra flour on this dough. And we're not working this dough very much at all. We're just going to lightly knead it here, get it into a ball shape. This is going to go into a lightly greased ball, sim side down. Spray our dough just lightly and cover. We want to give it about an hour to rest and rise. Our dough has been rising for the last hour. I have greased my pan, my oven, and it's preheating at 375 degrees. Transfer this dough out. I switched to doing this right on our countertop. It's plain just because the board wasn't working as well for me. So we just want to stretch this out. We're gonna cut this dough. We want to cut it lengthwise into four strips. to cut it crosswise out here and here we want to just stretch the dough to form like an eight by two little strip and then we'll just kind of fold it in to make a cylinder it's probably not going to be perfect last one cover them up let them rise for another hour. Okay, put it right there to the side. My dough has risen for an hour now, and it's double in size. I'm going to get it into the oven at 375 degrees. I'm gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. The rolls are out from the oven. We're going to allow them to cool down for about three minutes in the pan, and then we're going to get them on the rack and brush them with the butter. We're going to brush the tops and the sides. Oh, goodness gracious. We're supposed to let these rolls cool down for 20 minutes before digging into it. But you know, I'm just not that kind of person. So I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and eat them. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. I don't ever need to buy this at the store again. Ever. 